Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back for some more foundry. Look at that, it's dark. I seem to start a lot of my videos in dark. So anyways, um, I've been a little busy off camera trying to figure out some things. Um, trying to maybe start getting some mass production going on certain things. So that's kind of what I've done here. Um, using uh, the highest tier available of all the things that we've got. Um, I've set up a uh, an electronic components uh, kind of a outpost, array, whatever you want to call it. And it's not perfectly ratioed. Um, it is pretty close to set up perfectly for two belts of ore. Um, and so what we've got is we've got eight crushers on each belt um, those output the uh, the regular ore instead of the rubble that it's inputting right crushes it into pure ore um, those of course get smelted in our advanced smelters here uh, into the technum rods the technum rods come all the way down here and output um, to these assemblers and these assemblers here these two rows of them uh, are making the wire coils right and of course the um, these assemblers over here are outputting the uh, the electronic components which also require technum rods so technically we should have four belts of um, technum coming in here uh, four belts of technum ore um, to to supply these four lines of technum right there's there's two here making the the electronic components and then there's the uh, the two over here making the uh, the cable coils well the cable coils chew up pretty much all the technum that's coming along here and if you look I've just got those those technum lines continuing on to feed the uh, the electronic component assemblers and there's just not enough technum on these lines to be able to do that and they, they, they won't support anymore that's a you know full lines um, now these two lines are not technically full lines yeah they look full right now but they're coming the two of them from this mine over here well this mine is actually a um, going down it's way down here too um, is actually a uh, what is the word I'm looking for uh, vein an ore vein um, and so I put one of these vein miners down they can only go in certain spots and um, and they dig until the, the, the dig spot runs out. Um, the problem is, is they only output one, oops, get, get back up there. Oh, for crying out loud. They only output one, um, tier three belt worth. And I don't think it's even really a tier three belt. Um. Let's see, ore vein miners says they output. It doesn't. Interesting. Do I have any on me? Yes. And it doesn't say how quickly they output. Interesting. Okay. Um, well, anyways, it's not a full belt's worth, I don't think. This elevator is designed to run a full green belt um, capacity. And if that ore were moving up there, yeah, I can't go out that way unless I dig straight up and then I come out in the water. And I, I don't like being in the water this, in this game. Uh, your jetpack shuts off completely and... Uh, yeah, it just it doesn't work out. And not only do I have two belts coming out at the top and only one at the bottom, um, these deplete 
really, really fast once all that process over there starts running. So anyways, I was having a think about what I want to do next, and I posed this in the last video, I think, um, about how to proceed from where we're at in the game. We are currently stalled, if you look there at the top right corner, we're, we're currently stalled on Tier 5 Science. We don't have any Tier 5 Science uh, being produced, and that is the only research that we have left to do is Tier 5 uh, uh, Science stuff. Um, so the jetpack, that's the first one I decided to do because I just, I don't think like this is very fast. I mean, it's not super slow. It's definitely faster than running on the ground. Um, and you can fly in straight lines, but, uh, it's still kind of slow. So I want, I want that one first. Now, we've got a couple options, um, Obviously, the goal of the game is to sell robots to the space station. We're already kind of doing that with the, the maintenance drones that we're making over here, right? We're shipping those into one of these buildings, and they're going off to um, going off to the space station. Now, we unlocked the ability to uh, to make actual robots, not just uh, the maintenance drones, right, um, with our, our tier 4. Um, and that's these assembly lines down here. Um, which are apparently modular, and you have to set up different parts, or maybe not modular, maybe they're, I mean, semi-modular? I, I, I don't rem really remember exactly what it said. I did kind of read through it a little bit. Um, but basically, you set them up like train lines, and then your 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 product moves down the line and gets parts added to it as it goes. Uh, you know, just like a, a an actual real life assembly line. Now, that's something we definitely want to do, um, and something that I'm fairly certain that I want to achieve before I close out this series. Um, but with that said, I also only have a few researches left to do. Looks like uh, six, ten other researches to do. Um, and once that tier five science is flowing, it's not really going to take that long to do it. I've got a couple 500s, a 300, 200, everything else is 150 or below, I'm pretty sure. Um, anyways, I want to keep, keep going with that research. Um, but we've only got a few left here. So I'm thinking that we focus on setting up tier five science, which is going to be, uh, over here with the rest of our science production. We'll belt that stuff in and we'll set up a, a, a science production array over there with the rest of it. And... Uh, just loop that into the current science uh, research setup. Um, the problem is Tier 4 took up quite a bit of space, didn't it? Um, and we're level with the ground here, which means all of this ground here would have to come out um, in order to expand this platform for Tier 5. Alternatively, we could build a separate platform, maybe, up on higher ground here for Tier 5. And then just run the belts over there like we are with the rest of it. Because we can output all of that this direction too, and probably do it relatively easily. So I think maybe that's the route to go here. And yeah, it's going to collide with a lot of these trees and stuff, but that's okay. We can live with that. And then we'll come over here on this side. We don't have very many blocks left, but we're in our main production area, so it shouldn't be too bad. I could. 
I could. I might get rid of this box here and put in a bigger one. I just might. How much? Oh, I got plenty of space in my inventory. out of here bring them down here to the buildings all those all that all that and of course really the goal here is to empty out this box down here
Okay. Why you know output? No power. What do you mean no power? Oh, no power. Hmm. Interesting. Wonder what happened to Dug it down. Um, this one. Why are you not working? Well, I mean, you don't have power now, but why were you not working? And this one. Is up over here. Where's the ore? Uh. Oh, yeah. This one's basically dead anyways. I'm gonna have to find a new new power source. Um hmm. so we've got some options for that actually. Um uh, but we can't do it without power. Ah, let me out. a wrench in the plans. Um, I think I need to get these guys down here producing. Why were they not, I wonder? So you're powered. You're hooked up to the main grid. You're not hooked up to the main grid. What? That's why. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so what happened is I separated this network from that over there. Um, and I was using that uh, uh, Ignium mine over there, the one down on, uh, at the bottom of that elevator, to feed this generator, which was providing power to that and that. And that ran out of ore to provide to the generator while this one was still working until the generator ran out of ore. And this one is not providing any ore to the generator, so it couldn't keep the generator running when that one ran out. Um, so, one of the first things we gotta do is probably somewhere Yeah, that's fine. Oh. Um, well, that's not fine then, okay? Let me have these. That works. 
And then we'll take... Come on, give me the right thing here. Take that. either but nope sure not dang okay i'm gonna have to have two lanes here routed up so that we can send some of this ore over to that uh, over to that generator over there
dead on. Pretty sure I had some portable fuel that I dropped into one of these. that down here and that should get the base back under power. But we gotta wait for the Ignium to get down here in order to do that. Um, where am I making that portable fuel at? Like I said, I've been busy off camera between between episodes, mostly because I couldn't figure out where, what I really wanted to do uh, but for the for the next episode, which I guess we still got to try to figure out because this one has been preoccupied with a power trip. Um, let's see. 
that should come down here here in just a minute It'll split off both directions and we'll, we'll just have to feed one of these with uh, a little bit of igneum once it gets down here um, <coughs> off camera yeah um, so I set up somewhere somewhere is it up here Oh yeah, okay, yeah. No, that is exactly where it was. Where I basically started, I set up uh, a portable fuel plant, right? And that portable fuel plant is feeding um, a power generator right here. Um, I think I've got 20. Well, maybe it's these right here, actually. Um, whoop. Zoom in. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure... No, purple is belts. Green is power. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure these are my, my generators here. Anyways, um, I think I've got 19 or 20 of them set up right here. So um, I'm uh, tapping that oleumite and then processing that down into portable fuel. Um, that portable fuel is powering this little um, electronic component outpost. We'll go over there here in a minute once uh, once this Technum gets down to us, down to our power. It is a long way away. We do gotta wait a minute. Uh, you, where are you? There you are. You're almost here. Still got kind of a circuitous route to get to where it's actually going, which I suppose is kind of unnecessary. Are we splitting it off anywhere down here? Yes, we're splitting it here to go down to steel and provide me two belts up top and then we're splitting it here to go down to uh, ah that's making our jetpack fuel no that's making the oleumic acid which is making power cells. All right, it is almost here. Really, we only need to put one piece of this in. I don't really want to be carrying it around either, so uh, once that's coming down the line, I'm gonna take and throw all of that in there, and that should get those picking up as they come down the line and each one that kicks on provides a little bit more power and we should be good so we come back over here we should see yes production of our foundation blocks perfect so we come back to our platform Which is not even remotely large enough, methinks. We have to move some power poles, it looks like. Or we just keep building in this direction. That might work. blocks again and they're not going to be making very fast over there um, I guess we take the time to drill out all these uh, oops there we go drill out all of these these imperfections all of these interlopers 
get rid of the stuff in our way. We'll start tier 5 science up here. And then we gotta figure out where do we want to set up our assembly line. Because that is probably going to be one of the last things that we do uh, before I call this a series complete. And we'll move on to something else. I'm not sure what that something else is at the moment. Uh, got a few options of things that I can play. Um, some I've played before on the channel, some I have not. Um, but if anybody has been around on this channel for a little while, you'll realize that this is probably the first game I will have finished on the channel made it to, you know, what would be considered in-game complete. All the tech research and, um, and the ultimate goal of the game, which in this case is going to be selling robots to the space station. Again, technically, yes, we've already done that with the maintenance drones, but I don't feel like that is uh, in-game, if that makes any sense. I hope uh, the congestion that I'm feeling at the moment isn't coming through too horribly bad. Alright, let's see what we got over here. It's not going to be a whole lot. A few hundred, maybe. use these initially to fill in all the holes so that we can start building while we wait on more foundation blocks. that tier 5 science takes a lot of inputs or a lot of production. Um, we're going to have to set up several different lines I think just to make the one finished product or the three different finished products that uh, that go into building this science. And I think we're going to have to tap into our firmware light stores. some of this production. I'm not sure. Alright, so we have a platform. Now what does it take to build Tier 5 Science? Tier 5 Science requires robot parts, hydraulic pistons, and CPUs. Um, okay, what do hydraulic pistons Steel beams and low density oleumite. Well, we've got low density oleumite, I believe. I believe. Right down here. I say right down here. It's actually way over here. Let's check our tanks here. So this tank says liquid fuel. That's not it. This tank says low density oleumite. We've got 25,000 liters of it. Okay. So that's easy enough to do. Right? That was piston parts. Steel and LDO. Okay. Um, in fact, steel, we've got some, I think, running right there, but we'll probably just pull off of our, uh, our cargo ship right there that's steel on that one right there so that should be relatively easy to get access to um 
What else did we need? We needed robot parts. Um, robot parts. Probably there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, firmer light. So we need two firmer light sheets, advanced machinery parts, electronic components, and polymer board. Um, okay. So we haven't made firmer light sheets yet. Um, firmer light sheets, I believe, are under metallurgy. Certainly are. It is made from liquid firmer light. And liquid firmer light is made by taking firmer light bars and pumping it into an electric arc furnace. Well, we don't have any electric arc, arc furnaces. Well, that's not entirely accurate. We do have electric arc furnaces, and they are even being mass produced and stored. I did. That's one of the other things that I did offline. Uh, was set up um, some more mass production of things that I think we're going to be needing uh, like those arc furnaces um, so we've got everything we need to make those what else was it tier 5 hydraulic parts robot or hydraulic pistons robot parts and CPUs CPUs we haven't made yet CPUs are made from telluzite. Well, we don't have any telluzite. Um, Alumic acid polymer board, we've got those, but telluzite wafers we do not have. I'm going to say that's probably a telluzite wafer. It sure is. Requires liquid telluzite. Well, guess what? We need to get telluzite ore to turn into telluzite ingots to turn into liquid telluzite to make the telluzite wafers. Uh, so this is going to be a very large platform. This is going to be a very large process just to make a few tier 5 science and route them down with the rest over there. Um, so clearly we want our belts coming out this direction. Um, probably right around here. Excuse me, you're in the way. Um, so we're gonna need three components robot parts pistons CPUs okay so we're gonna have three output belts here and those three output belts are gonna go over there they're gonna feed that and and just run all the way over to the science setup and produce our our, our science packs over there um, so, coming onto those three belts, I think we've got enough space here. Probably not. We're probably going to have to, like, bomb out back there so we can extend the platform even further that way. Um, and possibly have to move, like, some power poles and stuff to extend the platform that way. Which we're going to have to move the, plow the, the platforms anyhow. Uh, or the power poles anyhow, simply because... those power lines are going to be in the way. It'd be nice if they weren't clippable, but I guess I can see kind of some degree of why they might be. Anyways, we need to be making stuff. We're, we're wasting time here. Speaking of, we got got uh, 20, 25 minutes left. Um, so, first things we need are robot parts. Let's look back here, see what our robot parts take. Firmer light sheets, advanced machinery parts, electronic components, polymer board. Okay, well, I actually um, installed a mod. And that mod says that, or, or, or gives us a kind of, uh, excuse me, gives us kind of a calculation 
of what we need. Um, so how many robot parts do we want to make? Well, what, what was our science rate that we were looking for? I don't think we're going to reach that, but um, let's see. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it really matters. We just want to be producing it and get it going. Um, and that takes four robot parts each and 80 seconds in a tier two assembler to make one. No, sorry, two. Two. It makes two science packs. Um, but four every 80 seconds, that is one every 20 seconds for all intents and purposes. I think we were shooting for one science pack per second. Um, but again, that's not super relevant anymore. I don't really want to focus too much on uh, on science production rate. As long as we're producing science and working towards the end of the game at this point, I'm ready. Um, this this episode or this series has been primarily kind of learning the game and seeing what our possibilities are um, and I think I'm gonna let the game develop a little bit more before I do another series see what kind of uh, updates they come out with uh, in the future um, but we'll go ahead and go ahead and work on on tier 5 science uh, so robot parts we want I don't know, 10? 10, 10 machines making those? We're gonna have to go grab. Oh no! We're gonna have to go grab some more uh, assemblers. Alright, so we're gonna give a little bit of belting space here. Definitely want those. We're okay on splitters or uh, balancers for the moment. Um, our, our, we're not terribly far from where we're producing stuff here, so it's not the end of the world if we got to come back. Um, what did I come over here for? Assemblers. Tier 2 assemblers. Which are being stored... Here. Uh, just take them all. Thank you. 50, 50 works. For now. Alright, so it's two, four, six. Okay. making tier uh, 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 robot parts. Now, robot parts require firmer light sheets, advanced machinery parts, electronic components, and polymer boards. Well, I know that the polymer boards and the firmer light sheets are both made in casting machines, but we also need to be making firmer light sheets uh, or for, yeah, yeah, 
Uh, we need to be making liquid vermilite to turn into the sheets in the casting machines. So... Hmm. Actually, these are not connected, are they? I can pick all of these up. So I cut their connection to this down here. Yeah, right there. These are no longer in the way. Or won't be. So I can, that gives me more space to expand the platform off this direction. Uh, off to the south. Because these power poles aren't going to be in the way. Which means the power lines aren't going to be in the way. And and it gives me a place to hook up power down here. Um, although, I might take this opportunity to use some more space down here. next playthrough, um, you know, maybe update two, maybe update three, I'm not sure how far, but I guess it depends on how much content they add. Um, I'll be, you know, maybe looking at, at utilizing some of the other mechanics in the game that I didn't look at this time. Um, that, get, get back. along with things that they they added in. Um, need a large power pole. Yeah, yep, that's good. And we're gonna connect you. Will you reach, will you reach, will you reach? Uh, um, let's try it this way. Will you reach? You are blocked, of course you're blocked. A. Move you to there, and then you'll reach. Yeah. Okay. So that should give us power to here. And tell these things that you can make robot parts. So they have four inputs. And of those four inputs, none of them are the things over there. And then they have to have an output as well. Uh, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. Um, maybe we redesign or respecify these to be... Oh, that means that those are going to have to be made in uh, fluid assemblers though, doesn't it? Uh, crafting piston parts, fluid assemblers. Yep. I've got a few on me, but not near enough. Err, okay. Um, well, that means we gotta get firmer light over here. We gotta get Technum, Xeno, and Steel all up here processing into the things that this needs to make that. So, I am quite glad that I, um, <laughs> I'm 
quite glad that I cleared out space to expand that platform because we're going to need a lot over there. Uh, what did I come over here for? The snakes. Still pumping away. Yeah, that's more better. Oh, um, probably want to clear some of this junk out. You're probably full, yes. You're probably full, no. You have that. Uh, you're not full at all, you can have that. And those, I'm not using them anymore. You're full. You're full. Yeah, you're full. So that's full, that's full, that's full. Not full. What else? You can hold that. I think. Yeah, I don't need C3 BB in my pocket. Uh, I don't need another boiler. That was the one I was carrying from the other thing. Uh, we'll put them not there. We'll put them here. Steam turbine. Where'd the boiler go? Chemical processors, casting machines. We're gonna need those. Um, not sure actually that we're gonna need those for the moment. Probably don't need those. Clean that up a little bit more. We need to... Let's go ahead and grab as many of these as we can. We're going to go expand that platform massively. space to set up some of the production that we'll need for these. Maybe. Possibly. Yeah, it would be nice, I think, if we had some kind of automation to kind of do this part of it for us. I'm not super fond of having to go through and can't find trees uh, this late in the game. Uh, it, it doesn't make sense, kind of, maybe, at this point. If that makes any sense at all. This is an automation game, and there should be a way to automate things like uh, digging up things that are in our way. Um, Maybe placing down large arrays, blueprint type situations, which I know that's something that the devs are looking at, and I did see a mod for it in uh, in the workshop. I haven't looked at it really because I was only looking for um, another feature that I would love to see implemented in the game. Uh, the ability to scroll the map further out than, than what you can. Um, and maybe a mini map, right? A mini map could be included um, up here in the the corner with our compass. Um, things like that uh, that that would just quality of life. So, anyways, yeah, I was just I 
the whole reason I was in the workshop was looking for uh, a mod to to be able to scroll the map out, which would be incredibly helpful for any modders out there that might have caught this episode. Um, I don't remember where I was going with that. Anyways, we need to be making... Advanced machinery parts, electronic components, polymer boards. Uh, we need some um, arc furnaces, and we need to belt in the uh, the firmer light that we're receiving at our warehouse over there. And I think the arc furnaces only stack at like five or ten high. I'm not sure. Furnace, you are the furnace. Yeah, they only stack at five, so I, I left those pretty well open for the the um, the storage container because I have a feeling we're going to need a few of these, even for what we're what we have left of the series. Let's check our time real quick. Fifteen minutes left or so. don't want these really to be any closer to the end than that. Wow, those things are huge. <laughs> oh my. Um, okay, maybe we need to take a look and see how fast this stuff gets made. Firmer light, made in an electric arc furnace makes 1200 liquid firmer light every seven and a half seconds so two of these would make 2500 in seven and a half seconds our tanks can hold 25,000 um, and we don't want to be running all of our firmer light over here obviously we still uh want some of that going to tier three or tier four i, I can't remember i think it's tier three science um so how many of these do we want i mean if i put down 10 of them it would make our it would fill a tank in one process um we don't really need that I think two, what do you think, two? And it doesn't look like they had pass through on them. And only outputs. Man, that thing is massive. Um, How do? Put them over here like this and run a belt to tell you side in between them. That's not a big deal. I don't have a tank, do I? No. Can I make one? Probably not. 
negative. So anyways, we'll, we'll cook, connect the output pipes of those up to a tank. We'll run... Firmer light in from this side here. It'll take us a minute to get this all routed over here, but... Upgrade that whole line. No, those aren't permalite. That's permalite. Of course, that's coming out over there. Um, if I drop a couple of these out. Upgrade it. Nope. on maybe possibly but for crying out loud These have to go over there somehow. Uh, where would be a good place to try to go that way? Lucky, wasn't it? To get this one tree out of the way over here. Oh, it's not just a tree. That. And then. Oh. Fine, 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 fine. Nope, can't go there. Can't go weasel our way under the wire. I don't know that we can. I think we're gonna have to come all the way around to here. these poles. Alright, so that's got our firmer light going in. You're 
are going to need a few, except I think we might want to do that slightly different. Stagger them so that each machine has the ability to get a little bit. down here. At least some. We didn't grab any more. Um, we'll leave room for a tank. But I don't know that we're actually going to need one. Oh wait, not fluid assemblers. We need... Casting machines. Turn the farmer light liquid into farmer light sheets. So that's what we need. Uh, so crafting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. A little bit of sense there. A little bit of sense. Fact, it almost looks like we could just drop this right in here and output from both ends of these. Let's see what happens. We're making 1250 a second or 1250 a minute, right? No, 1250 every seven and a half seconds. And our firmer light sheets craft in 12 seconds. But require 250 so could be a few of these to work out the processing of those uh i guess that's all i got cool i'm just gonna do the kind of the same thing here which we want that there, 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 and we got them coming from both machines here. So, come down like this. That away. Eh. 
Right, and those should be making firmer light sheets, which we can then run out. Eh, do it. Do the thing. Um, I think processing is something that they're going to have to balance here. Um, pretty much at the end of our time so i will continue this in the next episode um thank you guys so very much for joining me and i will catch you next time bye bye